Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now previous class we talked about creating a custom template on uh, how to save a custom template custom template in an Excel worksheet. So today we are moving on to another dimension in template using and creating a Microsoft Office built-in template. Now Let's talk about how to utilize one of the Excel Microsoft built-in template. A lot of people don't, don't know it exists in Microsoft Office. Now, within the Microsoft Office itself, it also came up about using a predefined template that Microsoft built in for us to use. If you want to do this the first step is to go to file tab here then click on new you can see we have a lot of built-in templates that we can use provided by microsoft for us to use you can see you can see now by, do, by using all these predefined template or uh, predefined templates here, you should actually make your work to say and to be lesser and more easier to do. Now let's work around the template. If you want to get most of all these templates, you can just come down to this search bar. If you are looking for a probably a budget, a budget template, just type budget on the address bar so definitely give you a series of budget template that you can just download but here i have a my template that i have, I have already installed on this on my microsoft office here so you can i can make use of any any one of them here you can see this part name instead of miss this will actually save me a lot of space by build, building in a template from the scratch I say all I need to do is just to change I did the figure there. I can change this 1005 to 300 to suit my to my need. You can see. So why can't you just make use of this building templates in your daily work? Okay, let me show you another form of template here. And let me try to work on maybe probably let me use my install template. Let me work on maybe probably loan amortization okay i think i've seen it loan amortization you can see and um, let's try to work around this loan amortization here we maybe let's say maybe you obtain a loan from any financial institution and you are not clear on how the repayment of your loan will look like once you be able to know the loan and the interest, then the, the period of your payment, then the number of payment per year. So you are done. It's your, the template here will automatically calculate all other details that, that is needed for you without giving you any headache. Now, let me assume that okay, you, maybe you will, maybe I obtain loan or maybe one around ten thousand. Let me see, thousand. Okay then my interest rate let me say it's 3.75 percent depending on this the interest rate might vary based on your financial institution let me say loan period in years let me say probably i'm paying in three years time okay number of payment per year so i'll be paying in 12 time per year start date let me use today's date okay today's let me use Zero six zero six. Let me see. Let me just thirteen zero six to ten and twenty. All right, okay. Optional as far to this one is not necessary to look at the magic that's going to happen here. Wow, start loan date. Oh, sorry. Start loading. Let me use okay. Let me use 
zero two zero three two thousand and twenty. You can see, you can see the magic here. So automatically, the it give me the all the my repayment period, how the loan is going to be the payment period of the of my loan. You can see the payment dates, the beginning balance. Then the schedule of payment, extra payment, principal amount, interest, then cumulative interest. You can see how my it, the the built-in Microsoft Office templates calculated all the all my loan interest, the principal and uh, and the ending balance for me without giving me any 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 stress. So schedule of payments to payment we have three thousand two thirty five point two five schedule of number thirty six you can see so that's three years actual number of payments is at um, thirty six months rather actual number of payments which is thirty six total payments so you can see then total interest so that is for the rule of three years I'm going to be charging I'm going to be charging six thousand four seven four so probably I mean, you can as well put your financial institution name let me just put here bn this false bank okay and do that okay and we are so by so doing you you actually have a, a very good template a built-in template that microsoft has already provided for you so don't build from scratch take advantage of this building template to make your work more presentable productive and stand out thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube youtube channel as i keep updating you on the various functions in a thank you bye